Hello and welcome. My name is Lexi and here I like to talk about luxury beauty. Today we are taking a look at one of the new Tom Ford creme eyeshadow palettes. This is number 38, Velour Khaki. And this is currently available at Tom Ford Boutiques. It has not made it into the department stores yet, but it should be coming very soon. So we're going to start off with some swatches. The other new palette that is coming out is Violet Satine, which I already have a video on that, so I'll leave that linked down below in the description box. And I have to say, I really like both of these. These are both supposed to be permanent. And these are the swatches for Velour Khaki. So while we talk about this palette, first I'm sharing with you an Instagram reel or TikTok that I did featuring this. If you're not following me on Instagram or TikTok, definitely follow me there. This is where you can see the items that I get right away. You can see some swatches kind of immediately and I try to use natural light as well as studio lighting so you can really see the color variations. But if you are trying to decide whether or not to get something before it sells out, that's definitely a great way to do it. I also post all of the current sales and deals and so forth there and also in the community tab on YouTube. So if you aren't checking that, make sure you do so. And then for this palette, I have a couple of looks that I'm going to share with you here. I do have a different look also on Instagram and TikTok. So this Tom Ford palette, again, 38 Velour Khaki. This is nine grams of product and it's made in Italy, just like the other. So this Tom Ford, ones and just like all of the newer tom ford quads we have our traditional brown and gold packaging but we have the large tf on the front that's kind of one of the ways you can tell something that's newer versus some of the older products that are out there on the market and i have to say i really do enjoy the creme eyeshadow formula i think this is a really great it's not really a true cream eyeshadow like you're thinking you might be thinking with like the little pots and so forth it's definitely not that creamy it's definitely more of a powder with a little bit of cream in it so it definitely behaves more like a powder shadow i have received a few questions as to what kind of brushes i would recommend using with these whether you can use something like dyed goat hair or squirrel hair and you can i don't think that these are moist enough products that it's going to have any effect on there. The main reason that you wouldn't use a delicate hair with cream products is that when that cream or that liquid dries on there, it kind of creates this like caked on coating that when you go to remove it, it may actually end up breaking off that delicate hair instead of, you know, removing nicely. So that's kind of the biggest reason why you wouldn't use delicate hairs with cream products. These are definitely more powdery that you could do that. That being said, with this formula, I definitely think that you want to use something a little bit more of a firm brush, more shader style. And because it has more of that like putty cream like texture to it, for a blending brush, I would definitely recommend something that's a little bit denser, something that you can kind of pat on the product and then buff out but the fluffier and lighter brushes just won't have quite as much of an impact with this formula. Now, as we're looking at these looks, I did have some requests to see how light you could go with these shadows. So you can see that's definitely something that I attempted. And I actually think you can get a really uh, like a light moderate look with this. Overall, these shadows I think are great. The colors speak for themselves. Now, as you are watching these demos with the shadows you know at first it was just sort of playing around with them so you can kind of see what they do on the lid i did have some requests to see how light you can go with these so i definitely attempted that and i feel like today's look is kind of that like light to medium pigmentation level and i think that's probably going to be more of like my go-to level of pigmentation with this quad you can definitely go very deep with this, very smoky. It's a really gorgeous quad. The colors are beautiful and they do, you know, for the most part, lean a little warm. You've got some cooler tones in here. You've got some warmer tones, but that those lighter, that base shade there, that top left shade is definitely going to be more of that warm beige. Then we have more of this like mink satin brown followed by kind of this like really deep, it's kind of like that grayish brown that you would have on a tree trunk, but it's pretty deep, followed by more of a, it's like a dark olive green. So it might look deeper in the pans when you're looking at the fourth shade there, the bottom right, 
but it's actually going to be a little bit lighter than shade number three, which is to the left of it. So just some things to note there. But overall, I have to say I really like the colors. I love the formula. I think this palette is a win. Now, I did get some comparison requests, so let's go ahead and move on to those. All right, so I outlined the swatches for the Tom Ford palette so you can really see exactly where these are. And I did this using the Khaki Maytel eyeliner from Chanel. This was 56 in the Cielo Yo formula. And let's go ahead and we're gonna start off with the, the particular quad that it made me think of right away, and that is the Chanel Blurry Green. And this is a classic palette and Let's take a look. We're going vertically here. And look at those colors there. You can see the color story is gonna be very, very similar. The Chanel's gonna be slightly deeper, a little bit richer, but the overall color story is pretty much the same. So key differences would be this second shade here, which is going to be a little bit more of a neutral brown, whereas the browns here are going to be a little bit warmer. You can see the shade's gonna be more of a soft copper compared to this beige, but the greens are gonna be fairly similar. You can see this one here has a little bit more blue in the Chanel than this, which is actually gonna be more of a gray brown kind of shade with a little bit of green, whereas this is gonna be more of a deep olive and this has more blue, more like an evergreen spruce type of look. Next, we have Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Rebel palette, which is now also called Green Lights. And we're going to go horizontally just so you can keep the palettes apart. And you can see again, similar color story here, but these are gonna be, have a bit more sheen to them. You can see that this is gonna be more of a yellow olive compared to the one in Velour Khaki. And everything's just gonna be a little bit richer, a little bit more shimmery and slightly warmer overall. So this is the NARS Climax palette. So this was another request. We're actually just gonna look at these two because I can tell you I already swatched the others and they don't match either of the shades. So this is NARS Climax. You can see that those two shades are very similar to what you get in the Velour Khaki. These are gonna have a bit more of that shimmer to them but shade wise, they really match shades two and four in Velour Khaki. And you know, you're know you gonna be able to get a very similar look with this palette if you already have it compared to the Tom Ford. This here is the new Bobbi Brown Jade Stone palette. We're going to look at this shade, this one, and this one. All right, so here are those three. And again, you can see that those shades are really gonna match up with Velour Khaki. So if you prefer a powder formula, this is a, this is limited edition for the holidays, but it's such a great price, price point. So that might be very worth it because the Tom Ford is $90. This is the Byredo Flora Kalahari. So there's really only one green in here, but this was a request. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So that shade you can see is gonna be softer, more olive than the Velour Khaki. It's kind of like this one mixed in with a gold shade. And I also had a request for the greens in the Byredo Corporate and Metal Boots palette. So here is the green and corporate. Let's go ahead and do this mink brown here as well. So again, this is gonna be corporate. Let's put this, well, let's just keep going down here. And you can see that green definitely has a lot more blue in it than anything here in Velour Khaki. And this brown is going to be cooler, has a little bit more rose in it as well. And then Metal Boots in the Snow. This is one of my all time favorite palettes. And I have to tell you this shade here, it's not gonna match anything because it's a duochrome, but let's go ahead. We'll just put these two right up here. You can see, look at that gorgeous duochrome. I love that. Um, but this shade here is going to be a little bit more blue and a little bit deeper, but it's kind of like shades three and four mixed together, whereas this one really doesn't go with it. But those are all of my comparisons. I would have to say that there are definitely other palettes out there with pretty much this same exact color story and depth level. I think the closest is actually going to be the Bobbi Brown Jade Stone. Those colors are very, very much like this, 
followed by Chanel Blurry Green, and then the uh, Rebel or Green Lights from Charlotte Tilbury. So I think those are gonna be your closest matches. So you might already have these colors in your collection. So I would love to know what you think of this palette, if you plan on picking this up, or if you already did. Again, it is currently available at boutiques, will be at department stores soon. And just remember, if you are waiting for a bargain, a lot of times cosmetic company outlets, those stores will have the Tom Ford palettes a few months later for a drastically reduced price. So that's a great way to get Tom Ford makeup. And you can also order from them online. So uh, definitely a great way. I don't have a local store. So um, yeah, I think it's a good option if you are in the United States. Well, I hope this was helpful. Again, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you aren't already. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a wonderful day.